Okay, uh, I'll call the meeting to order. I'll begin by acknowledging we are in Treaty 1 territory in the traditional homeland of the Métis Nation. My name is Neil Hardin. I'm chairing today's panel. With me is Robert Best to my left and Richard Whitbread to my far left. Uh, the assessor today is Michael Taylor and the recording secretary is Hada Aziz. We will be hearing an application for revision of the assessment rule in accordance with the Municipal Assessment Act. The matters for which revision is requested have been described in each application and will limit discussion to those matters. The statements that the applicants or assessor make this hearing are sworn testimony and anyone speaking to the matter must be sworn in. We advise a comparison of assessments of properties and not considered evidence of market value by the board. The board is appointed annually by council and is independent of it in the city administration. It makes its decisions on the basis of the evidence provided at this hearing and issues a written order that we mail to all parties as soon as possible. Please note that the board's decision with, with respect to an application may be appealed to the Manitoba Municipal Board as the matter pertains to assessed value of classification or to the Court of Queen's Bench as the matter pertains to the application of exemptions from taxation. Should you wish to appeal information, how to do so will include with the board's order. With respect to the hearing process, I will confirm the matters to be addressed with each applicant following the swearing in. We will then have the assessor's testimony followed by questions the applicant may have, and then the applicant's testimony followed by questions. Each side will have an opportunity to summarize if they wish. Once all the evidence about an application has been brought forward, the applicant may leave. The process will repeat for each item on the docket today. The session will close. After all the applications have been heard and the board will deliberate and private and make its decisions. You will receive the order by registered mail as soon as possible. As information, all public hearings are recorded and will be part of the public record. Okay, can you swear the assessor in? Please state your full name. Mike Taylor. And I swear the evidence you are about to present is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, and also God. Okay, the first uh, property on our agenda is 1070 St. James Street, but the applicant is not here as yet. Have you heard from the applicant at all? Uh, I talked to uh, the applicant back when we postponed or adjourned the hearing to today. Okay. Um, I had a communication from him uh, looking for a reduction in value uh, over the weekend, to which I hadn't had a chance to reply to yet, but my position hadn't changed on the value. So we have discussed value, um, and they're aware that the hearing is today. So. Okay, well then we will defer uh, this until the uh, till end of the hearing. So we will move on to 775 Panet Road. Please state your full name. And you affirm the evidence you're about to present is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yeah, go. Okay. You may proceed. Road is 04-003-810-200, being 19-4459. I propose assessed value is 23330000 uh, Today we have a joint recommendation to reduce the assessed value uh, to 17868000 uh, based on a revised NOI and cap rate. So that's one seven eight six eight zero zero zero. I agree. I agree with that. Okay. Short and sweet. Twenty sixty Pembina Highway. Highway is 0309-299-3565. File number is 19-2647. The proposed assessed value is 8528000 Again, we have a joint recommendation today to reduce the assessed value to 6336000 So 6336000 based on revised NOI and capital.
May we agree? Okay. Eighteen forty-five coming up. Is 0306508 Phone number being 19 3187. Proposed assessed value being 5455000 uh, Again, joint recommendation reduced the assessed value to 4590000 So 4590000 based again on revised NOI and CalPRI. Thank you. Thirteen thirty three. Sorry. Okay, good to see you. Okay, so ready to go? Yep. Okay, so the number here is one three zero nine six zero four four six zero zero. File number is nineteen dash four seven nine seven. Proposed twenty twenty assessed value being eighteen million five hundred forty six thousand. Uh, recommend, joint recommendation, sorry, uh, again here to reduce the assessed value to 15369000 based on revised and aligned cap rate again. Uh, so that's 15369000. And you're hearing Seven zero zero one eight five four two zero zero. File number is nineteen dash two seven four eight. Joint recommendation to reduce the assessed value today to seven million five hundred fifty one thousand seven five five one zero zero zero. Seven five. Okay. Uh, again, based on revised on the line count. Right? We agree. So the roll number for 1750L is 0700208000. File number is 19 2525. Proposed 2020 value being 7679000 Joint recommendation to reduce the assessed value to seven million four hundred and seventy five thousand based on revised NOI and cap rate. You in agreement with that? Oh, we agree. I'm sure that was seven four seven five, correct? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Proposed 2020 value was 21 million four hundred thousand. The joint recommendation again today to reduce the assessed value to 19 million two hundred sixty thousand, based on revised and aligned cap rate. So that's one nine two six zero 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 zero. Very great. Can't help you. Does that account for all the cars left in idling in the parking lot trying to get out? <laughs> 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 Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Short and sweet. All right, we come back to 1070 St. Main Street. So 
Mr. Can you read in the roll number and your just briefly go over your evaluation for that one? Sure. We'll talk about Friday. All right. So for Town City St. James, the roll number is 07001498000. File number 19-736. Opposed assessed value being $2,643,000. Okay. And can you just lead us through briefly your page three? Sure. So through my page three. So it's been valued today. Everything is model driven as a retail warehouse here. It's been adjusted to a low average quality, not by myself, but by another assessor for reassessment. So the main floor space is 16,304 square feet. It's been given a model rent of $10.70 per square foot. And there's quite a large mezzanine showroom space as well that's accessible by two sets of stairs, which was given a half rate of $5.45 square foot. Then there's the standard parameters for retail warehouse. So the 4% vacancy, 6 below shortfall, expense ratio of 2%. And with that qualitative adjustment, it also gets a bit of a higher cap rate for retail warehouses at 7.2%. Most of the retail warehouse cap rates came in between 6 and 7. Generally, the 20th and 8th percentile would be 6.3% to 6.8%. So this would fall outside of that. I don't have that on my chart, but I can testify that that's the 20th and 80th there, 6.3 to 6.8. So this one at 7.2 falls even more so outside of that. I have dealt with this property before. I have fully inspected the property here. I mean, there are some concerns that the owner would have presented over here today. If you look at page 6, there's limited parking space. The subject property is right on St. James Street there. What business is it? This is the furniture villa. I didn't include any of the interior photographs, but I mean, it's a furniture store, so there's full couches and chairs and appliances and stuff. Second floor, again, is showroom space. It's not just storage. We're still giving it kind of the half rate that would normally go to just a storage mezzanine. And then after the pictures, there's just the income expense questionnaire where the owner and applicant has submitted their expenses for 2017 or so. Welcoming any questions? Any questions? No, nothing. Okay. Thank you for that, then. And that concludes today's hearing.